ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸੈਟ ਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਔਨ ਅੰਗ 646 ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਬਾਈ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਤੀਜਾ ਸਿਖਾ ਚੌ ਚੁਕਿਆ ਚੌ ਵਾਇਆ ਇਹੋ ਮਨ ਇਕਤ ਘਰ ਆਣ ਏਹੜ ਤੇਹੜ ਛੱਡ ਤੂੰ ਗੁਰ ਕਾ ਸਬਦ ਪਛਾਣ ਸਿਖਾ ਚੌ ਚੁਕਿਆ ਚੌ ਵਾਇਆ ਇਹੋ ਮਨ ਇਕਤ ਘਰ ਆਣ ਏਹੜ ਤੇਹੜ ਛੱਡ ਤੂੰ ਗੁਰ ਕਾ ਸਬਦ ਪਛਾਣ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਅੱਗੇ ਟਹਿ ਪਾਉ ਸਭ ਕਿਛ ਜਾਣੈ ਜਾਣ ਆਸਾ ਮਨਸਾ ਜਲਾਏ ਤੂੰ ਹੋਏ ਰਹ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਕੈ ਭਾਣੈ ਭੀ ਚਲਹੈ ਤਾ ਦਰਗਾਹ ਪਾਵਹ ਮਾਣ ਨਾਨਕ ਜੇ ਨਾਮ ਨਾ ਚੇਤਨੀ ਤਿਨ ਧਿਗ ਪੈਨਣ ਧਿਗ ਖਾਣ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਤੀਜਾ ਹਰ ਗੁਣ ਤੋਟ ਨ ਆਵੇ ਕੀਮਤ ਕਹਣ ਨ ਜਾਏ ਨਾਨਕ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਹਰ ਗੁਣ ਰਵਹ ਗੁਣ ਮਹ ਰਹ ਸਮਾਏ ਪੌੜੀ ਹਰ ਚੋਲੀ ਦੇਹ ਸਵਾਰੀ ਕੱਢ ਪੈਤੀ ਭਗਤ ਕਰ ਹਰ ਪਾਟ ਲਗਾ ਅਤੇ ਕਾਈ ਬਹੁ ਬਹੁ ਬਿਦ ਪਾਤ ਕਰ ਕੋਈ ਬੂਝੈ ਬੂਝਣ ਹਾਰਾ ਅੰਤਰ ਵਿਵੇਕ ਕਰ ਸੋ ਬੂਝੈ ਇਹੋ ਵਿਵੇਕ ਜਿਸ ਬੁਝਾਏ ਆਪ ਹਰ ਜਨ ਨਾਨਕ ਕਹ ਵਿਚਾਰਾ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਹਰ ਸਤ ਹਰ ਸੋ ਬੂਝੈ ਇਹੋ ਵਿਵੇਕ ਜਿਸ ਬੁਝਾਏ ਆਪ ਹਰ ਜਨ ਨਾਨਕ ਕਹ ਵਿਚਾਰਾ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਹਰ ਸਤ ਹਰ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਇਸ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਵਿਦ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਉਥਾਨਕਾ ਦ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਕਨੈਕਟਿਡ ਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਵੈਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਫਰਸਟ ਵੈਨ ਟੂ ਦ ਵਿਲੇਜ ਆਫ ਗੋਇੰਦਵਾਲ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਸਿਕ ਸੰਗਤ ਦ ਕੰਗਰੀਗੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਥੇਰ ਮੇਕਿੰਗ ਥੇਰ ਹੋਮਸ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਥੇ ਯੂਸਟ ਟੂ ਬੀ a family of sheikhs sheikh is a term of respect for a religious official in islam or someone who is the head of a family and these sheikhs this family of sheikhs what they used to do is when the sikhs went to go and fetch water they'd break the pitchers the jugs that the sikhs were carrying every time and they'd always be disturbing the sangat they'd always be trying to cause a commotion with the sangat always attacking the sangat and what happened one day was there was a group of sadhus who were passing through goindwal and the sheikhs attacked this group of sadhus threw stuff at them and so the sadhus the group of wandering ascetics entered into a fight with the sheikhs and ended up killing nearly all of them and prior to this sri guru amar das ji maharaj he said to have said the shabat to the leader of the sheikhs to the leader of the family instructing him to give up his ego and see that the one lord pervades through all but even though this story is attached to this shabat it doesn't mean that this shabat was relevant only at that time gurbani tells us prathaye sakhi mahapurkh bolde sanji sagal jahan ne 
that great beings, the words of great beings are also great and they are eternally true. And so these words of Guru Amar Daji Maharaj which were directed at the sheikhs also apply to us within our lives. May Guru Sahib Ji bless us with the light and understanding that we can take this message into our hearts. Sikha chau chakya chau vaya ehu man ikat kar aan Sikha O Sheikh O official O leader of your clan Chau chakya chau vaya Chau chakya means to be carried away fourfold by your own anger. Why are you letting yourself be carried away in your anger and your hatred? Why are you letting your mind wander so much? Take this mind. Take it backwards into the car, the home of your body, and realize there is only one Lord God pervading through all. Those who you are attacking, they are also filled with that one light which is pervading through you. Give up your petty arguments chhadtu gurka sabda pashan and recognize the shabat the message which the guru is giving to you and if we apply the shabat to ourselves say ka and that has been translated by some scholars to mean o oh, seeks o oh, disciples o oh, those people who want to collect together spiritual knowledge jao chakya Chau means four, Chak means directions. Chau vaya. Chau vaya means to expand through, to pervade through, to be wandering around. Mara Sahib says, O Sikh, O disciple, O learner, your mind is wandering through all the four directions. And what does that mean? That the mind is not centered. On anything. The mind is centering upon Maya, upon this illusion of the world. And Guru Sahib Ji says, Eho man kar aan. If you want to find peace, then take Eho man, this mind of yours, Ikat kar aan. And take it back within to the kar, the body, the home of your soul, Ikat, and realize that one Akal Burk within you, that one Lord God. And Guru Sahib Ji goes on to give us Upadesh, spiritual message, Ehad, Tehad, Chad, Tu, Chad, give up, Ehad. Itcha, the desires of this world, Tehad, the three gunas, the three qualities, what are they? The Satogun, the Rajogun, Tamogun. Satogun, the lowly, Humble qualities, Rajogun, the kingly, princely qualities, Tamogun, the dark energies, the dark qualities. Guru Sahib Ji says, Go beyond all three of these, go beyond Jagat, Sopan, and Sukhopat, go beyond the three stages which your mind is always in. Jagat meaning being awake, Sopan meaning dreaming, Sukhopat meaning dreamless sleep. Go beyond these three stages. And how can we go beyond all of this? Guru Sahib Ji says, Gurka Sabd Pashan, through the Shabbat, through the words of the Guru, through the mantra of the Guru, through the Bani of the Guru, Pashan, come to understand and recognize this. Satgur Agga Tahapau. Satgur Agga, Agga means in front of. In front of the true eternal Guru, Tahapau. Taha means to fall down, completely fall down. And Taha, but what else does that mean? That means Taha, break down all of the barriers in your mind that stop you from bowing down and following the words of the Guru completely. Whether that be ego, whether that be desire, whether that be greed. Sab kich jana jaan. And Guru Sahib Ji saying, do not simply bow down externally but internally too. Why? Because Sab kich jana jaan. Why Guru Ji knows everything. Vaheguru Ji is Jana Jan, which means all knowing. Asa Mansa Jalai Tu Jalai, burn away through your spiritual practice. 
eradicate from within yourself asa, manasa, asa, long-held hopes, and mansa, the fluttering desires of your mind. How do we do this, Maharaj? Maharaj Sahib Ji, hoi raho mehman. Raho, live your life like you are mehman, like you are a guest. Just like a traveller in a hotel doesn't get attached to the bed of the hotel or to the room in the hotel, he knows that in the morning I have to leave. In the same way, Maharaj Sahib Ji says, always remember that you are just a traveller, you are just a guest within this world and you will have to leave one day. So do not get attached to the amenities of this illusion. Instead, focus upon that path which you are travelling. Satgur ka paane pi chal hain. And alongside of this, chal hain. Walk within. Live your life within the paane, the will, the command of the Satgur, the Eternal Guru. Ta. And then what will happen? Dargah paavahman in the court of the Lord, in the dargah paavahman, you will be respected. You will merge in with your Creator, Lord. Nanak Satgur Maharaj Guru Amar Das Ji says, "Je naam na chetni." If you do not listen to the words of the Guru, if you do not meditate upon the Naam, then it teg pannan, teg khan. Teg means cursed. Guru Sahib Ji says that everything that we pannan wear and all the khan, all those products which we consume mara sahib ji says are cursed why because each product that we consume without remembering wahiguru is breaking us away from wahiguru ha if we lived in this world and everything with everything we consume we remember god with every meal we eat we thank god we meditate upon wahiguru We chant the name Satnam Sri Vaheguru. Then everything we wear is blessed. Everything we eat is blessed. But forgetting that Creator, Lord Vaheguru, that means if we live our lives in that way, then everything we eat, everything we wear, all of the things we are attached to are cursed. Because they are simply making that gap between us and the Lord God Creator greater. And Guru Maharaj Sahib Ji, Guru Amar Das Ji goes on to say, Mahalla Tija Har Gun Tort Na Aavai The Gun, the virtues of Hari, of that Narsha Lord God Vaheguru, Tort Na Aavai Never come to Tort, never come to end. The Kiemat Kahan Na Jai And the Kiemat, the greatness, the value, the worth of God, Vaheguru, Kahan Na Jai, cannot be described with your tongue. Nanak Gurmukh Har Gun Rava Hai. Sadhguru Maharaj Sahib Ji says that center yourself upon the Guru, become a Gurmukh, Har Gun Rava Hai, and Rava Hai. Enjoy and chant the Gun, the virtues of Vaheguru, Gun Maha Raha Samai. And through chanting these Gun, these virtues, you will Samai, you will merge in with the Lord. And through chanting the virtues of the Lord Vaheguru, these virtues will pervade through you. Nirpao japae sagal pao mithae. Guru Granth Sahib Ji tells us, Nirpao japae, if you meditate upon the fearless Lord, you will become fearless yourself. The virtues of God, meditate upon them at all times and they will pervade through your own soul and unite you with the Lord Paudi. Har choli deha savari. Hari Vaheguru, that nourisher Lord God, has savari, has created and decorated this choli this body and this human life is created, it is decorated, it is there for us to meditate upon the Lord. Kad pedhi pagat kar. And those who meditate upon the Lord, those who engage in pagti, they have realized the true embroidery. The word we use in Punjabi now is kadai. And Maharaj Sahib Ji uses the word Kadda here. This soul, this body, this human life has been given to you by the Lord. And the true embroidery, the true decoration of this human life would be to do Pagdi, to meditate upon the Lord devotionally. 
ਹਰ ਪਾਠ ਲਗਾ ਅਤੇ ਘਾਈ ਬਹੁ ਬਹੁ ਬਿਦ ਪਾਤ ਕਰ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਹਰੀ ਦਾ ਲੋਡ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਪਾਰਟ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਸਿਲਕ ਵੋਵਨ ਇਨਟ ਥਿਸ ਬੋਡੀ ਦਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਹੂ ਯੂ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਥਰੂ ਫੋਰ ਏਵਰੀਵੇਅ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅਬਾਈਡਿੰਗ ਵਿਦਿਨ ਯੂ ਦਾ ਸਿਲਕ ਇਜ਼ ਵਿਦਿਨ ਯੂ ਦਾ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲ ਲੋਡ ਗੋਡ ਮੈਡੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਅਪਨ ਦਾ ਲੋਡ ਗੋਡ ਅਪਨ ਹਰੀ ਇਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਦਾ ਗ੍ਰੀਨ ਸਿਲਕ ਭਗਤੀ ਇਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਦਾ ਡੀਪ ਡਾਰਕ ਕ੍ਰਿਮਸਨ ਰੈਡ ਸਿਲਕ ਕਲਰਡ ਇਨ ਲਵ ਬਰਾਗ a realization of that separation from the lord is like the black silk within you all this silk all of these colors are within you of the lord meditate upon him and you will realize and boho boho bid the path god that the lord god has created this boho boho in many different ways in many different paant in many different designs and fashions koi buchha buchhan hara antar vivek kar but only koi only very few bujanhara people understand this idea only very few people are blessed with this realization and how are they blessed with it antar within themselves bebek kar they live their lives in bebek in the guru's understanding in the highest understanding they ask the guru to bless them with understanding they don't think immediately with their mind and say oh this is what i should do no they say what does the guru say every time for everything so bujja e hub bek but only those people are blessed with this bek this understanding of the guru this purifying understanding jis bujaye aap har who are blessed by aap by waheguru ji themselves ja nanak kah vichara satguru maharaj sahib ji says the this humble servant kaha vichara speaks this vichara speaks this understanding these words this ultimate realization gurmukh har sat har those who send to themselves upon the guru upon hari and believe hari to be sat the only eternal truth and give up all falsehood and give up all attachment to temporary peace and attach themselves completely to that eternal one ek o ankar they become one with that hari gurmukh har sat har satguru maharaj sahib ji is saying give up the ego the desires of your mind fall in front of the guru and beg the guru for this bebek this understanding and those who have been blessed with this understanding have merged in with lord god waheguru so bucha e ho bebek ਜਿਸ ਬੁਝਾਏ ਆਪ ਹਰ ਜਨ ਨਾਨਕ ਕਹ ਵਿਚਾਰਾ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਹਰ ਸਤ ਹਰ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ